Welcome back guys, you know who it is. It's your boy Jeff from Sunshine Pet. I just wanted to make a quick video and actually go through all the fish in my fish room. I know lately a lot of people have been asking me, um, please make a video, please make a video. Not even make a video, they're just basically asking me for pictures and videos and all the fish of what I have for sale because I'm getting a lot of inquiries lately as far as what I have for sale and what will be going for sale and prices and sizes and all that and such. So I really just want to make this video for the people that are asking. And if you're a subscriber and you enjoy seeing what I have and pretty much uh, some updates in the fish room, this is really going to show it and some uh, exactly uh, what's going on in the fish room. So please stay tuned and enjoy and let's get into the video. So right now I'm just doing some water changes and start off with my favorite fish. This is the koi guppy. Looks like that koi got banged up a little bit from someone. So as you can see, my koi guppies are absolutely huge. These are my favorite fish. And you can see why they're absolutely stunning. Now, things with these that I'm noticing right now, which some people might see, is see this one fish right here? It does not have red on its head. Therefore, it could be a call. Some people do not care, but if you want a pure gray, a pretty much a pure or best quality koi guppy, you want a fish like this with the red head because I believe this fish was created for Japan because Japan's symbol is a circle that's a red, that's right, a red circle. On the bottom, which a lot of people have been asking for, is what I have as far as pleco. So in this frame, we got red, snow white, long fin, red, and calico. And we got the giant female calico right there. I think that's the one breeder based on the size of a stomach. You can see right there, we got a calico. That's a regular fin. Koi guppy there. We got some regular green quarry. Some, I forgot what plant that was. We got some mystery snails. There's a ton of other fish over here. There's, some, there's a long fin in there. There's a few actually albino long fin. Now, like I said, all these fish are for sale. So if you are interested in any, please contact me. My Instagram is sunshinepet underscore li, or you could just comment me, comment, and I'll link you the address. Okay, now these are the reverse of the koi guppies. These are called tuxedo koi guppies. You can see that there's red on the head, and the reason the water's like this right now is I'm feeding them and doing all water changes, but I figured I'd make this video for you guys so you can enjoy and see the updates in my fish room. Now, if you remember these fish in these tubs were all outside, I just do not have room for them currently. So let's get a close up on this male so that you can see the male is pregnant. I mean, the female's pregnant. We can't do that in this day and age because it is not possible. And then in this tub, we've got the full red albino guppies. These are very popular. I sell a ton of these. As you can see, I could take these guys out right now. I don't know if I have a... You know what? Hold on one second. Let me show you. Okay, I'm back in the New York groove. Suck all these guys in. Now, these are very, like I said, popular. These are very beautiful guppy, very vibrant red. As you can see, males, females, and such. If you're interested, like I said, contact me. Okay, and all these plants I got from outside, these are the hornwort. Um, letting them grow in here. Now these tanks do tend to stay a little colder because they are on the ground. I believe they're in... Uh, nothing could ever go nice. All right, 74 degrees. 75, I just did a water change over here, 81. Um, all right, over here, we got the black rams. I just took the one pleco out because it was destroying the whole tank. I was trying to clean this stuff up, the algae. Now they are all gonna start fighting with each other and start breeding. I cleaned all the, I believe there's two pairs, there's three pairs in here, but two actually lay eggs. Um, nothing to see really with the rams. I'll explain the fry in a minute. Now, everything in this particular tank is from outside. All the snails. No, the snails actually are from a smaller tank. So all the fish in here are actually from outside. These are from that big circular pond I had outside. So we've got pleco. I believe they're just albino and brown or chocolate. We got, I think, a few quarries hiding out back there. They were all outside. 
And then all the fry in here, we've got Bleeding Heart Platies, Regular Platies, Sword Tails, Leer Tails. I mean, there's just a smorgasbord of fish. On to the other tanks. I'll explain the fry at the end of the video if you want to see that. This tank, I'm trying to figure out what to do with it right now. I know people love talking with my hands because I'm a 77% Italian. Oh, forget about it. I'm gonna make them enough for hate game with heels. <clears throat> I could do so much better than that. That's uh, my Don Coyon from The Godfather. My impression is, uh... You come to me on my daughter's wedding day. I'm gonna make them enough for hate game with heels. Okay, that's a little better. Alright, so the fish that I have here... I'll leave the light on. Just a bunch of uh, blue shrimp. So quite a few of these. People love these. Oh, I got a little photo bombing right here. So this particular koi guppy just had a, a busted tail. I mean, I guess I could technically leave him, technically leave him in the tank. But as far as the selling a fish quality like that, I can't. Um, these are the red metal lace guppies. These are the males. That particular female guppy just did not have the red head, so I took it out, pregnant. And that guppy just had a busted spine, but still a fish that does fine. Now these are my most, most, most prolific breeding German black ram pair. I need something to drink, I've been talking too long. Talking, talking, talking. So this particular tank, I keep around 83, 84 degrees. They constantly lay eggs, maybe, once every two weeks, but unfortunately I don't feed them blood worms. I have to go buy more, um, but they lay quite a lot. This actually, this pair is responsible for all these gold rams because they do throw some gold rams. They're kind of shy right now because I just fed them. Some on top, if we can see them. Yeah, the gold's really coming in that one. Gotta clean all these tanks. And the fry in here, which I'll show at the end of this video, are right there, which I actually had some success in getting better at it, which I'm extremely happy for. So this was a breeding project that I had. Um, I just shouted because I guess I can. We got a little red pleco I like. Um, so as you guys know, one of my favorites, these are the Santa Claus guppies, these are the males. I got these females, virgin females, from a local guy. Uh, you know who you are. And um, I believe these are volcanic guppies because I asked the breeder that I'm, I'm very uh, familiar with, uh, familiar, I'm good friends with, and he said they're volcanic guppies. So they had a few fry. I'm curious to see what happens. A bunch of other fish in here. We got my all my cherry shrimp. There's a lot of, uh, no one's really coming out. I know there's awesome calicos in here and some other plecos. We got a moss ball, all my cherry shrimp. Cherry shrimp are going like crazy. They breed too easily. All right, enough of that. Pump. Now over here, eh, let's continue this. All right, this one particular pair of my German worms have not laid eggs in quite a while. Now the only thing I changed was that pleco. I'm taking him out and I'm gonna feed him. Feed them constantly blood worms for about a week consistently and hopefully that gets them to lay eggs again. This tank is my mystery snails, ram's horn snails, and a few of my um, plecos. There's some calicos in here. Some long fins. You can see them all on the back there. You know, I think that's a long fin calico. Yeah, that is. I actually have to get him out. Because this particular tank produces a lot of ammonia because of all these mystery snails. So like I said, I have to get him out. I'm gonna take him, I'm taking a lot of them out today. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that tank, honestly. We talked over the gold rams. There's two gold laser quarries. There's one making a little appearance back there, which you can see. These guys should be ready to breed soon. Uh, now this particular tank is probably what everyone's going to be asking for because this is what I get asked a lot about as far as pleco. This tank has almost every single species or color of pleco that I have in stock. Now let's start off with the most popular, which is the red pleco. Let me sit down here. Oh, I, can just, I can talk to you guys about these guys. So this particular tank is a this is a 20 gallon high. This is a 20 gallon long. So this particular tank has, I don't know, 50 fish in it and never have any deaths. <clears throat> I put that big sponge filter in just because it wasn't getting as clean out as I would like. I do water changes on it somewhat frequently. Um, we have chocolate slash brown Bushinos Pleco. Then we have the long fins with the white tip. 
Uh, we got some calico long fins back there, if we can see them. The blue Moscow guppies, they were once black, but they decided to change the blue. Hashtag canceled. Uh, let's see, we got a calico right there. I really like calicos, they're different. Um, but every one, every single fish in this tank is from either a brown, I believe a brown long fin and a red male pleco. So these brown plecos do have the red gene. If you want to, you can request the browns from this tank. If you don't care, then it does not matter. Now, a lot of the females and the, um, a lot of the adults are all hiding right now. You can see there's a lot of plecos in there. But that's, a, that's basically what's going on. These blue Moscows, they never really, never really bred for me. I mean, they did a little bit, but they're not like the Santa Claus. Those Santa Claus guppies are top notch, like probably the best quality guppy I've ever had. Um, these are the Purple Mosaics. Got these from a local guy. I'm not really a fan of these. They just don't seem to be doing well, unfortunately, in my water. Um, the colors are okay, but I'm gonna probably sell them as a bulk to someone or just give them away. Um, Cause I'm gonna need this tank for the Santa Claus guppies and that way they have a bigger tank than the 10 gallon. So that, these are the guppies you can see. Uh, we got a pleco hiding in there. A lot of these plecos are from outside. I kind of just dumped all the fish in here. Uh, while I'm over here, I will show you the update on my fry. So this is some things I've learned. You can see, let's see how close we can get with this camera, the quality of the camera. I mean, I can go, that's 12, that's the most. All right, so these are the fry I have. These are, you can see all their bellies are full with brine shrimp. I fed them ooh, 8 o'clock in the morning before I left. Looks like all the brine shrimp died by then or they've been eaten. Now, let's see, there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 fry. Could be maybe one more hiding, so let's just say a dozen. So a dozen of those guys came from these two. And this one is ready right now because you can see the stomach is swollen. I know my fish well enough that once I put the separator in there, do a water change, that fish will lay eggs tonight, 100% guaranteed. Also, these two are for sale. If you want a price, DM me. These are prolific breeders. They, the two koi guppies, they uh, lay eggs every week or so. These are their eggs right now. I'll show you them in a minute when we're done with this side. Um, so these guys are pretty easy to hatch. It's just that raising the fry, you gotta keep clean water. I think that's the number one thing. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of these guys, they do die. So these are only ones that survive. Now, on to the stars of the show, I guess. And these are the Black Rams fry that I finally, finally, ugh, finally, finally got to hatch and, and survive. Um, I'm not sure how many are in there. It could be about 20 or so. Get a close up on them. So you can see, there we go. All the black rams. I would say maybe there's about 20 of them in there. Got this. I keep the green moss in there. I believe it's for good for uh, beneficial bacteria and microorganisms that fry can chew on or eat. Uh, the biggest thing, if you're trying to breed these guys, is in my opinion is you're gonna have to have clean water um, and do not do big water changes because when I had multiple, multiple egg lays, um, I did big water changes with the fry and I killed them all instantly. Um, my fish, uh, I guess this on this water are very, very sensitive. I have that giant water filtration system that filters everything out in the water. Um, I'm not, I don't have a, an exact list of what they, um, what it filters out, but with these guys, I'll just tell you real quick. I have a turkey baster over there. I would basically take three or four squirts out of water, out of this, and put into this. I had the, do not want to spill that, because that's expensive food. I had the angelfish in this, and just constantly just change water two to three times a day. I think the reason a lot of the fry died with the angelfish is I fed too much brine shrimp. It's always, the, it's always best to feed less than more, because that way you can feed them more often. And if you feed them too much and they don't eat, it fouls the water and they die instantly. So with the rams, I'm still learning, but I think next time what I'm gonna do is figure out something with this breeder box and maybe put like a sponge right here 
so that way they don't get sucked up through there into the water. But I actually do heat this whole tank. Instead of having uh, temperature fluctuations, I keep the tank about 86 to 84 because if it's in thick plastic, the water is going to be colder than the actual base. Oh, there's a big guy right there. He's for sale too. But that's pretty much about that, it about that. This is probably my most profitable tank as far as fish keeping goes. Um, most people always want something out of this tank. This is the Calico Red <coughs> Long Fin Bushy Nose. And these are all my Bleeding Hearts and the White Mickey Mouse Platy. I almost never see White Mickey Mouse Platy. I ended up breeding these specifically. I had, actually that's, that's probably not the original one. You just take a regular white platy like that, mix it with a Mickey Mouse, and then you get white. I took out all the white ones, and then I basically just bred them, and they just do not die. Like, I just can't kill these things. Like, I sold, four, I think it was 40 or 50 of them out of this tank, and they're still surviving. I just don't get it. But going forward with this, we got tons of breeding pairs, reds, long fins. I mean, there's just so many fish in here. We got calicos. Let's let's zoom in for you guys here. We got the red. We got calicos as the platy. Calicos, uh, tons of reds right here. One, two. You can see this dark, darker variations of red. Um, I think that's really it. That's a that's a long fin calico right there. That's a very nice. Wow, that's a really nice fish. Let's get a better close up. Wow, look at that. Look at that coloration. Look at that foam! Um, this tank, I never lose fish, I don't believe, but it's just that uh, there's a lot of fish in here, so I gotta constantly feed them. Um, I upgraded the sponge over there. And these are the Leer Tails, Sword Tails. I don't think there's any Sword Tails in there anymore. I don't know what this fish came from. He's just a, he's just a mutation of some fish I had. So these are the Leer Tails, uh, Big Ass Platys, and the Dalmatian Mollies. And then we have Panda Cories. The Panda Cories aren't for sale because once I get rid of all these bigger fish, then I'm going to start breeding them. So you can see all the fish. These are all very, very expensive fish. You cannot find these fish anymore. I'd be impressed if you could find Leer Tails. Because in New York, I haven't seen these in a pet store other than mine in a very long time. I'm trying to breed with that fish. Um, so let's see if we went over everything. It's me again. What's up? Good. This side. All right. Another fish that people have been asking for is angelfish. It's very, a very popular seller. If you guys want to get into the hobby and make money, angelfish is ah, always the way to go. Now, all these fish, except for the Bulgarian and the koi, are fried from these two guys. So as we just got a close up on these, these are not for sale, the black ones, because I am I recently sold all of them to a local guy who I made a good deal with. So you can see um, we got Bulgarian seal points. Unfortunately, the guy I got them from sold me some damaged fish. It's green. See these guys I'll probably end up selling like this one and this one. I don't like the color variations. There's the other green Bulgarian seal point. Got the koi angel. I do have some uh, plecos in here hiding around. I got the giant pleco I just dumped in here before. I want to rescape this, but they're all hiding. You can see there's a little red pleco in here. This this is connected to the fluval. Uh, this tank. Oh, there's the guy back there. There's a big pleco. He's my little uh, mascot, I guess you can say. Um, this is a very long video. If you guys are still in here, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. Um, these are the blue metal grass guppies. Very beautiful guppy, but these just do not sell, unfortunately. They're a very expensive fish. I paid 35 a trio, I believe. And then we got some green quarries. We got mystery snails. All types of fish in here. Some quarries in here. But you can see the close up of these fish. Very, very beautiful fish. So if you're interested in these, you can DM me. This tank is my best breeding tank. I get hundreds, I probably got a thousand plecos out of this tank. I mean, there's just so many breeding pairs in here right now. Um, see some of my oldest plecos as well. Got the male under there. 
Um, if you're interested in any of these fish, like I said, message me. Um, we got green quarries. They breed when they want to. Um, tons and tons of pleco. These are mostly all regular plecos. Um, nothing too crazy. Um, these fish are a pretty good deal. Okay, we got my... These two guys are, are a pair. They are for sale. I'd like to get rid of them. Um, these are my two koi guppies and the Philippine blue zebra mix. This female is pregnant right now. You can tell because she's she's going to lay very soon. I think she's stressed, but um, you can see her abdominal muscles and her breeding tube is out. The only reason she's not laying eggs is because this barrier um, lifted up. So, But she's going to breed on that tonight once I do a water change. Guaranteed. Honestly, if I do a water change in this mid-video, put the barrier there, she'll probably lay eggs. Obviously, one of my favorite guppies are the Santa Claus guppies. These guys are going to be going where the green, uh, the purple mosaics are. Very good fish. Uh, I can't wait to redo these fish. Unfortunately, you guys know all, if you haven't, you don't know, the video, uh, probably a few videos ago, I had thousands and thousands of all these, mos uh, all these uh, Santa Claus guppies outside. I lost so many of them. I was so devastated. It, it must have been from the raccoons or, or something. Ugh. Brine shrimp, this is my hatching. I'm gonna feed a bunch of the fish in a little while after I do water changes. So as you can see, these are the eggs from the fish I told you that I'm trying to sell, the pair. They breed about every week. Methylene blue, don't even heat the water. I'm sure if I heated the water, it'd be nice. I have the air bubbler on. Let me actually put this on higher flow. Pretty much the last tank is this tank, which a lot of people actually message me about because they want to see the angelfish. So these are the angelfish from, I believe these are from the koi pair. Unfortunately, the male passed away. But these are actually some really nice guppies. That's my fishula, if you're wondering. That's how I did dialysis, because I am immunocompromised. So in this tank, we have long fin plecos, no red. They're just long fin browns, regular browns. Long fin. I think there's one or two snow whites and there might be, I think that's the snow white right there. It is not focusing for me. And then these are the guff, these are the angel fish for sale. Just see a few of them get up close with it. And like I said, in this tank there's tip with this. I don't know what happened, but this with all this hair allergy or whatever this is, ever since this happened, this tank has been crystal clear. Never has a problem. Oh, it took like three years. This particular Amazon sword, I bought this from the store, a uh, local store that I do business with, obviously. Um, and I just left the whole thing connected and I just dumped it in there. And it's, it does fantastic. I'm, I don't replant it. It stays in the pot. I mean, this thing just takes off. It has so many different buds. Fish love it. I got a beta fish in here. I don't know. He's lurking around somewhere. I forgot about him, actually. Oh, there he is. Let's see where he's hiding. I got him on the... I got him last November for Black Friday. He was like five bucks at the store because they were all on sale. Different types of uh, plecos and... <clears throat> plecos and um, quarries. But that's it for the fish room, guys. I think I covered almost all bases. Obviously, this tank is just a fry grow out tank. Not too much going on in there. I kind of just throw a bunch of fish in there and they just do fine. But um, if you enjoyed this video, I really would appreciate it if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to buy some fish from me, you're more than welcome to. My Instagram is sunshinepet underscore Long Island or LI. Uh, you can comment below. I can send you the link. And purchase some fish for me help me support the channel if you can't buy any fish just like comment and subscribe i hope you guys have a safe and happy halloween and see you in the next one <laughs>